the metal voice on part two, Judas Priest or Bruce Dickinson. Now I can show you the Brutus, Judas, uh, the Bruce Dickinson album, but I haven't received my Judas Priest one yet. I've just been listening to the stream for the past few weeks on the show once again. Chris Aitken from Classic Metal Show, CMS Network, correct? Yes. CMSnetwork.com or CMSPN.com. You can find all my stuff there. And Erickson, Audio Inc. podcast, as well as what radio station are you on again? Uh, so it's Audio Inc. Radio, and then I'm also on The Ref. Okay. And uh, the other guy, <laughs> Ralph. Punches <laughs> <laughs> <Lunch is> here. <laughs> He's just sitting around. Almost human. Subscribe to his channel. He's edgy. He's past PG-18 right? He's, uh, he's more in the R. All right, guys, we're here to discuss once again, Judas Priest, their new album versus Bruce Dickinson's new album. Did you like it equally? Did you like one better than the other? And why? I'm going to start off with Anne. Anne, what did you think of Bruce? What did you think of Priest? I mean, we already know your opinions on that, but I don't know. Do you prefer one a little more than the other and why? You're going to put me in the hot seat first. That's not mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> no, it's a really tough question because I'm a huge fan of, of Bruce and Iron Maiden, huge Judas Priest fan. And I really think both these records are fantastic. Uh, I like the fact I can pronounce the Judas Priest record a lot easier than, than the Bruce Dickinson one. But in all seriousness, they're very, very even to me. I would say that they're a tie. But if you, you know, gun to my head, absolutely had to choose, I would give a slight edge to Judas Priest. Okay, well, Ralph, a gun to your head. Which one would you pick, Judas Priest or Bruce Dickinson? Well, I don't know if you know this. I'm a Diano guy. I'm not a well, Bruce. I'm a Diano guy too. Though, though I do love the first three up to Power Slave. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love Accident of Birth and Chemical Wedding. I okay. think this new one is mm -hmm. as good as Chemical Wedding. I'm floored how good it is. Yeah. Uh, Judas Priest, I love, as you watched that episode before, but. I got to say, I mean, the Bruce Dickinson, I didn't think one song on there wasn't good. I liked every single song. I can't say that about the new priest. So I'm going to say Dickinson. All right, Chris. The Deano guy see. says Dickinson. Oh, well, there's two Deano guys here, even though I'm a big Bruce fan, but I'm a more of a Deano guy. But Chris, go ahead. Well, let me just break this um, in half because um, I really don't like the Bruce Dickinson record much at all. I, all right. I, <laughs> I, it's boring to me. I don't, and it's not even Bruce. It's kind of Roy Z. Like the guitar playing is kind of, meh. It's, you know, it's, but, there's not but any, what, but let me ask you, what were you expecting though? I was with all the hype that was coming on it. I was expecting chemical wedding, accident of birth or balls to Picasso, something in that realm and did not get that. That's for sure. Got more, I don't know. Kind of like the last few Iron Maiden records, really, just kind of that mid tempo y, maybe not as gallopy, but uh. so, yeah. To answer your question, though, Judas Priest by about 9,000 miles. <laughs> I think I'm more on Ralphie's side here. I, I, I love the Judas Priest and I love Bruce's album, but if I had to pick one or the other, I was on an island and someone's going to throw me off into the water with the sharks, I would have to choose. Bruce Dickinson, because I just think it's a little better production. It sounds like the drums are a lot better. The mix is a lot better. I think his singing is great, even though, of course, Rob's singing is great. But I just, I kind of like boring, Chris. I don't know, <laughs> man. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I wasn't, maybe it was about expectations. Like, I'm not expecting Flight of Icarus. I'm not expecting Rothschild. I'm just expecting more of a, um, uh, a diverse... Uh, him going off into different directions, and that's what he's doing. So. Sure. I I was expecting it to suck. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, when, when you know, I I got a leaked copy, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll give it. I'll you know, I'll review it for my channel, and I went and take notes, and I was like, damn, I, I thought this was really gonna suck, and it it didn't to me, man. I loved it. And the slow songs. A lot of people have been commenting about this. The last three songs on Bruce's album, they're slower tracks. Yeah. And a lot of Maiden fans are saying, what on earth is going on here, man? There's no galloping in the last three songs. <laughs> but if they would have been galloping and they would have been fast, 
then people would have complained anyways. Because, oh, this sounds too much like Iron Maiden. Yeah, well, I mean, thoughts? I think it has to sound a little different from Iron Maiden, right? I found that refreshing. Uh, I think yeah. one thing for me that maybe would put Judas Priest a little over the edge uh, of liking a little bit more is that it's a little more commercial friendly. And I tend to like that sort of thing. So it's purely a preference thing. But the slower songs, I think that was great. You know, get creative, do something different. Right. And, and I get it. Don't worry. I get it that you still like the Bruce Al. I'm not saying you're knocking one over the other. You're just saying that there's just a slight little hair of an edge with Judas Priest. But apparently, Chris, there is no hair there. This we're talking no. about a whole, a whole head. No. <laughs> this is a brawn hitting a hitting a head bald. It's just what? What did you? You're going to get notes on that one, Chris. <laughs> More than the uh, nine score on the <laughs> free <freeze> double. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> what would you want? In, what maybe I asked this question already, but what would you have preferred to hear on Bruce's album? A gallop? Not necessarily a gallop, because like Chemical Wedding and you know, especially Ke Chemical Wedding is my all-time favorite. So I know I'm comparing it to the best he's ever done. But I just love that bigger sound that they had. I, I again, I'm not even saying it's Bruce. I'm saying that it's kind of Roy Z. I, I don't like the guitar sound, and maybe I'm getting too old for this. But I don't like long songs as much anymore either. And there's what four or five of them that are like six or seven minutes long, or or longer. The last one I think is ten minutes long. It's like all right, I'm you know same reason I don't listen to Dream Theater. It's too long. It's too stretched out for me I, you know i i'll go to Anne's point with the with the judas priest it's commercial four minutes in out bang got it and and love it you know just uh, just not sold on this one ralph where bruce's uh, topics did you follow the story of the lyrics on the uh, on the magic no, project no uh did you see his movie on chemical wedding yeah 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 Ooh, that was was that brutal yeah, has anybody seen the Chemical Wedding movie? It was Alistair Crowley. I, I, after I saw the Chemical Wedding movie, I don't want to know about Bruce's stories anymore. <laughs> but but man, what a great album that was. It is a great album. On that note, okay. Is there any last words, Anne, you want to say about this discussion? It's a quick little in and out discussion. In and out. So your preference, once again, is a slight edge to Judas Priest. Any last closing comments? Yeah, I mean, basically, again, I love both records. So it's just very, very close. And this is so fun. So I just want to thank you for having me on. But yeah, it's a great time to be a metalhead. I think that this is some fantastic new music we got. Chris, who would have thought? Bruce has been around. He's 60 years old. Right. Bob Halford's 70 something. And it's the older guys who are cranking out, who are leading the charge in a way, right? It's not the young bucks coming up who are leading the charge. Well, you know, you know what, the, the ones that it's some of the older guys, because then there's other guys and there's the, you know, the Dawkins of the world that are not bringing up the charge. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. It just, I, I'm happy that they're still doing it and doing it at a high level. And as much as I'm saying, I don't like the Mandrake project. I don't want it. I don't want anybody to think that I hate it, hate it. No, no. I was giving it a number. I would put it right in the middle, like a five, Ooh, you know, that sounds but, like a hate to me. Well, it's not. There, there's oh. some ones that Judas Priest, if you gave me Nostradamus or the Mandrake Project, I'll listen to the Mandrake Project backwards before I'll listen to Judas Priest's uh, oh, Nostradamus. Wow. Wow. You know, I, I just, there's albums I don't like a lot worse than this, but whatever. It's 2024, we're getting good music from guys that have been doing it for 50 years, so I really am not complaining that much. Ralph, this is probably the last five to ten years we're going to hear our favorite artists or at least we'll call it the golden era artists. Uh, any closing, any remarks on that? Uh, you know, this is, this is the last kick at the can. And I, I mean, think how, I, lo how long could people be doing this for 80, 90, right? Hey man, look, and I don't mean no disrespect by this, but this is how I feel. Judas presented when KK and Glenn weren't there no more. They need to be there. KK and Glenn is Judas priest to me. Faulkner is awesome. But it's KK and Glenn. And I would love to see KK and Faulkner. That would be lethal. But uh, I think that the time has passed, man. I mean, uh, you know, Iron Maiden still has a piece of my lineup with the ballerina. Yeah. In the show. But, <laughs> but um, I, think, I think our time, I mean, come on. How many original bands are there out there yeah. with all original members? Not many. 
I don't, think well, I, don't, I don't want to put everybody on a downer as we close no. off, but <laughs> pick up both albums. Before pick, pick before up. that, everybody would say, oh, ZZ Top and Aerosmith got the original lineup. Now they don't. Those were the two last ones, you know? All right, guys. Uh, hey, but but let's enjoy it. I mean, it, that's that's what call, I'm getting at. Let's you enjoy call it. it. You call it Judas Priest. I call it Rob Hoffer's band featuring Ian Hill. <laughs> On that note, pick up the new album by Judas Priest. Pick up the new album by Bruce Dickinson. Um, I guess it's a tie, 2-2. Guys, the Metal All-Star Podcast, folks, thank you so much for being on. A pleasure. We'll do it again. Guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.